Hi, angel friend. I'm Kathy with angelspeaker.com. Welcome. The angels and I are glad you're here. In 2013, the hospice nurse told me to say my final goodbyes as my husband, Doug, had just a few minutes left to live. The moment felt precious, holy, and bittersweet. Something miraculous was about to happen. There was an expectation in the air and in my heart. I walked to the bedside of the man I deeply loved. My first words to him were, Honey, it's your turn. While I was devastated for myself, I was happy and even excited for him. His journey back to the invisible world was about to begin. I knew the angels were with me, and this time I had visible proof. The angels had shown themselves in a photo taken in Doug's hospice room. I've seen the heavenly realms for over 20 years. By the time Doug was diagnosed with terminal cancer, I had seen souls on the other side many, many times, and I knew how happy they were. I had seen their peace and their joy. I didn't want him to go, but I knew there was nothing to fear. Doug, my husband, had a near-death experience as a little boy. We talked about it several times. Because of that experience, he knew the constant peace and love that exists in the heavenly realms. When he received his terminal diagnosis, he told me that he was sad because he didn't want to leave his family behind, but that he had no fear because he'd been there before. Our journey through his last months on earth probably differed vastly from most families. We both knew where he was going and the peace he would feel. We knew the joy he would have when he reconnected with his loved ones in the heavenly realms. The angels have asked me to make some videos about the event most people call death. The angels say that a far better term for death is transition. They don't use that term because it's more palatable they use that term because it better explains what happens when the soul leaves the physical body. When our soul transitions into the heavenly realms, we're able to enter the fullness of who we truly are. We are fully and effortlessly our best and most complete and loving selves. Within our physical body is our soul and our ego. Our ego is a made-up idea of who we are. Our ego speaks first and it also speaks loudest. Our soul is our true essence. It's the part of us that existed before we had a physical body and the part that exits the physical body at the end of the lifetime. Our soul always exists. It is who we are. It is our connection to the divine. There is a saying, die before you die. The meaning of die before you die is to lose your fear of death. We can't live fully until our fear of death is gone. To lose our fear of death, we must release our ego. Our ego believes that we are separate from everything else and everyone else. For most of us, our ego has tremendous fear around the death experience. Our soul, on the other hand, knows that we're all connected in a divine web of love. Our soul knows that there is no death. Our soul knows that we remain connected to everyone even after we no longer have a physical body. There's another saying, don't die before you die. 
On the surface, it sounds like this is the opposite of die before you die. The meaning of don't die before you die is live a rich life, live fully, live completely, express your individual unique self. Live fully every day you have here on planet Earth. Don't miss out. I like to combine the two sayings. Here's my wording. Die before you die, so you don't die until you die. In other words, lose your ego, lose your fear of death, and you will live fully joyfully and blissfully each day you are granted in this physical body. The angels are asking that we start a candid, compassionate conversation about the end of life. What would you like to know? What questions do you have? What would you like to ask the angels to answer for you? Do you know how to die before you die? Leave your questions below and I'll make as many of them as possible into upcoming videos. Most people don't understand death and have a fear of it. They have no idea how to talk about it. They don't know things that would be helpful to know when someone they are connected to transitions to the invisible world. The more we understand and know about the event we call death, the better prepared we'll be when we experience it. Also, understanding death helps us to truly, fully live each day. Angel friend, please hear me on this. Die before you die, so you don't die until you die. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. The angels and I are sending you the biggest hug. Visit angelspeaker.com for more info.